Tell me what's wrong. Go away, Chad. Leave me alone. Whitney, no. Come back. Tell me what's wrong. Whitney. Whitney. Whitney's in serious trouble. I know it. Oh, to God, that's not her. Whoever it is, it's rather late. I'm sorry to bother you. It's me, Chad. It's important. I am sorry to barge in on you like this, right. but I need to talk to you. It's about Whitney. Why? What's wrong? Well, that's the thing. I'm not sure. Uh, Teresa and I went to the convent earlier tonight, and we both left feeling like she's in pretty bad shape. Bad shape? How? Well, she's too skinny, for one. Yeah, well, she's always been slender. Yeah, but she's lost weight. Too much weight. And she's got these dark circles under her eyes. What's that? Maybe she's not sleepy. No, it's, it's more than that. Okay, she looks sad and scared. She's not like herself at all. Now, I've tried to put this out of my mind, but I can't. I, I got a bad feeling about Whitney and this convent thing. I, I don't think she should be there. Well, I know. I mean, you want her back with, with you and Miles. Oh, and where is Miles, by the way? Well, I called the babysitter to come back over. But you're wrong. I, I didn't come here for that. I'm worried about her. <sighs> well, Chad, uh, we all are. Uh, we were also surprised when she decided to join that convent. It seemed like such a drastic solution. Well, of course, you know, Chad, you wouldn't think it was right that she was there because of your feelings for her and your relationship. But we have to respect her decision. And Whitney seems to feel that she has to cut herself off from you and Miles. And this is the way that she's chosen to do it. But it's wrong. We still love each other. All right, Chad, now don't be absurd. There's no way in the world that you can be with Whitney in the tr traditional sense. It's a, that's, that's not even up for debate. I mean, that's the way it is. Chad, I, I'm not I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. You have to get over these romantic feelings for Whitney. Get over them, huh? That's easy for you to say. Did you get over my mother all these years you were apart? All these years she was married to T.C. Russell? No, but I mean, it's, it's... But love is love. It doesn't play by society's rules. Maybe not. But if you really love Whitney as much as you say you do, then you have to. You know your father is right, Chad. We were all devastated when we realized what it meant because you were our son. I mean, it's not that we didn't love you. But it meant that I was in love with my half-sister. Exactly. And if Whitney has chosen to deal with her shock by going into a convent, we owe it to her to, to respect her decision. Look, I have tried, okay? And I would, but she's not doing well. That's what I'm here to tell you to. I know how painful it is for you to be without Whitney. No, would you, would you, would you just shut wants... up for a second and listen to what I have to say? I'm sorry, but I just don't think you get what I'm trying to tell you. Whitney is in trouble. I know. Look, I already had a bad feeling. And, and then I had this nightmare. It must have been one of those premonition type things. You have got to help me help her. You know, you wouldn't be talking to me like this if you would have seen her tonight. Chad, we're not trying to minimize your concern. Well, you could have fooled me. I just hate seeing you so upset so long after Whitney has made her decision. I'm telling you, if you would have seen her tonight, you'd be just as worked up as I am. Listen, why don't, why don't we talk about this tomorrow? We're really getting nowhere. I, I don't want to wait that long. Chad, I don't know why you think we don't understand how you feel. I never wanted Whitney to run off to a convent. I was against that. And, and, and I didn't want her to be a nun. I didn't think that was a solution to your situation, especially as it concerns Miles. Yeah, yeah, and he needs his mother just as much as I need her. But I think that we have to accept that Whitney has every right to resolve her own personal crisis in, in whatever way she feels is best, including joining a cloistered convent. I mean, clearly, it's a very difficult decision, and it's, it's deeply personal that no one, I mean, not her mother, not her father, not or her... Or her lover that even the father of her little boy can understand. But even if we don't agree with her decision, I think we should at least give her credit for turning to, to something positive and healthy instead of the opposite. Like you did when I was born. Exactly. All right, no, it was my fault. No, Julian, I was a grown woman. I should have known better than to try and drown my grief and my guilt in drugs and alcohol. 
As much as we don't agree with Whitney's decision, at least she is around good, decent people who, who will look after her and make sure that she's all right. And when you think about it, I mean, she couldn't have put herself in a more loving, safe, protected environment. Frankly, I'm relieved that she's, she's in there instead of out here. Yes, because you didn't see her. Eve, I guess you're alive. Oh, God, and it's so late. <sighs> Hello. Yes, this is Whitney Russell's mother. Why, what is it? Oh, God. No, no, I'll be right there. Who was it? What happened? That was Whitney's mother superior. They found her collapsed on the chapel floor. I'm gonna get dressed. I have to go to her. So what, was she just in the chapel, just all by herself? Yes, when Sister Maliki and Sister Boniface found her, they tried to revive her, but she hasn't regained consciousness. You should have taken her to the hospital. I wanted to let Whitney's mother know first. I knew she was a doctor. It's okay, if she needs to go to the hospital, we'll just drive her there ourselves. Tiny. I told you she lost weight. Oh my, she is burning up. Has she been ill? No, not at all. She, she hasn't complained of uh, as much as a sniffle. But something's wrong. I knew it. How does she sound? You know, I can't get a good reading. Let's turn her over on her side. Is that blood? God, it can't be. 